and uh, I believe it was uh, Megan. We all went to uh, the Vegas residency. All of us got separated somehow. Uh, and then uh, I was in the lobby or something. Ron was walking through it. He said he he said he's gonna make a video. He'll make a video for my daughter. You know, a little message for her. So I was just gonna meet him out there in the lobby and let him just make a video real quick. Well, you know, he was walking with his guitar, and then uh, he just told me to follow him. So I just kept following him, dude. And then he opened up these doors, and then we're going down this little tunnel area. And then next thing I know, it's just the stage was right there. And I'm like, dude, am I, am I supposed to be in here? And he's like, you're fine, you're fine, come on, come on. And at that point, I was kind of nervous, you know, because I'm like, I never been like in that, I never been in, in an area <laughs> like that before, you know. So, so he was just kind of. Uh, they were going to play overseas after that. They had a uh, some shows they had to do, and he was doing a line check on his equipment, making sure that whatever the hell the technical term is, with it, you know what I mean? Just <laughs> yeah, he was but, doing his job. He was working. Yeah, dude, he was very, he was very professional, dude. Like very, very professional. He was, yeah. he made sure everything was perfect. So. Uh, you know, so he made it. He made that video for my daughter, and it was. I was just. I still have it, man. It's one of the coolest videos, dude, and she, she loved it, man. But uh, <laughs> but what was cool about that was, uh, you know, I was in there for about like a, an hour or so, and uh, just uh, there's some. I think I got a video on YouTube of it. Uh, him playing. Uh, he was kind of messing around with the song "This I Love," but uh, I remember Izzy Stradlin was there too. Uh, he was on the stage playing on Axel's piano, and. Uh, I didn't go talk to the guy or nothing because I'm like, well, I can't be a fanboy right now because they'll be like, get rid of this guy, you know? So I was just like, yeah. I was just kind of standing there, just like standing next to Ron while him and Izzy were talking. And uh, I didn't even say a word to Izzy, man. I was just kind of like, just listening to him talk, you know, and they're talking about his back pain or whatnot. <laughs> and uh, so, and then it was just cool seeing that uh, Izzy play on a uh, access piano, but so while it's weird was, hearing them have old people conversation. Yeah, hey, how's your back doing, man? The wife good? Yeah, you know, it's just kind of stuff like that, you know. Uh, yeah, you forget so sometimes that they're just normal fucking dudes, like you know. Yeah, so I mean, it was pretty cool, dude. And then uh, I remember like uh, they lowered because Axel's piano, dude. This is a this is kind of like a bigger production where Axel had to have this levitating piano go over the crowd. Yeah, for November rain, so. So Ron was trying to get them to uh, levitate the piano with me standing on that platform, and then uh, I remember someone was like, "That's not a good idea, man. This this kid, this kid's gonna fall and get hurt. I was gonna fall off of it and get hurt or something, you know." But so yeah. So I just uh, I remember like uh, being on stage, and Ron just told me, "Just have fun. Just walk around. Just do whatever you want." So I'm like, well, "I'm gonna document this as much as I possibly can." So I took pictures of everything, you know. Like I took a picture of Axel's little foot pedal. That, uh, who took who took pictures for you? There's a couple of pictures where you're far away from the camera. Who took those? Uh, I know Ron took some pictures for me. Okay, so Bumblefoot, like the one where you're leaned up against the drums, Bumblefoot himself took that photo. Yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I did. I mean, it was like it was just really uh, it was surreal, dude. Because I mean, I was like the guitar player Guns N' Roses man just literally let me just walk around this whole this whole stage you know like and i remember uh because that whole state that that stage for the first residency was like so awesome you know because they had those ramps you know that kind of oh, go yeah. over, the, over the crowd it was uh it was really neat and i remember i was just like i was walking over it kind of looking down and i'm like eh, axel stands here dude this is what he's going to be standing here tonight he just <laughs> this you is know what he sees <laughs> yeah, and then uh, I remember I took a picture of the little uh, master set list they had. It was not a set list, but it's like a master list of all the songs because, like I said, I've been told millions of times uh, that we don't have a set list. We just have we just play what we feel. Okay, why is it the same songs every night then? <laughs> yeah, well but, now now it is, but you back know, but like then the, it was different. Yeah, but they had. I mean, it, it was kind of the same. Layout. They might change, like they might throw in. Uh, uh, there was a time every now and then, or they'll throw in this song every now and then, you know, just kind of like they'll rotate like a couple songs out. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, uh, but what was cool though is you always see Axel standing like kind of like to the side of the drums, and you'll see him saying something into a microphone, but you never hear him, you know? So yeah. what he does is he had this little pedal that he will step on, and that's his way of communicating with everybody, you know, like saying, whether it's telling some, some uh, joke or uh, talking about, <laughs> yeah. let's do this song or, uh, you know, just 
whatever, you know, like. What I want to know is what does the panic button do? Because there's another button that says panic. Oh. Um, Axel has. I guess that's just kind of like that's an emergency, you know, like all communicate. I think that's what it is. This is his communications with the band. You know, that's the way they communicate, you know, like uh, if something's going to change in the set list, you know, Axel will go into it, you know, or like if uh, I remember one time, uh, I believe it was Fortis or someone was going to come out and they're, they're about to start playing another song. And then you see Axel, Axel go up to the pet, step on that pedal and say something. And then Fortis just kind of backs off and then Ron comes up and then they'll play a different song, you know. It's just kind of like, you know, they just change, they'll change it up at last second or do something different, you know? Yeah. Is that the time he started playing Paradise City and then they ended up playing, like, he goes from the intro to Paradise City into something completely different? Yeah, it was something weird, man. I remember man. that. I remember that happening. Yeah, so, like, yeah, anytime you watch, uh, if you go, like, anytime you see Guns N' Roses, like, uh, your next show, or watch, or if you're listening to this podcast, is it, when you see Guns N' Roses again, pay attention to Axel, you know, when he's not a... Uh, Watch what he does. He'll kind of stand to the side, and you'll see him step on the pedal. And he has this special microphone just right there, just just random microphone just sitting there. And that's how he communicates with the band. Yeah. Or that's how he talks to them. But so, like, I mean, uh, running, walking around the stage, you know, I got to go behind the stage, and you see Ashba's little ramp because during that during the residencies, uh, I guess during that whole tour, Ashba had to have this big grand entrance, you know, where he had to rise up from behind yeah, the drums. Chinese democracy. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, I had that. Uh, I got pictures of all that, you know, showing how the mechanics behind that, you know, what it was labeled. Uh, That's really cool. You know, it was just, yeah, it was, it was pretty cool. You know, I mean, Ron, uh, he really took care of us. Dude. Like, Thanks for checking out the video. Be sure to subscribe and get the full episode now on GunsAndRadio.com.